Hello, my name is Scott Foster and this is a very quick video on a particular part of one of my university projects. So basically the project is to make a tower defense game and because I wanted to make things difficult for myself, I added pathfinding, some A-star pathfinding in there. And it's not the, the best in the world, but it, it works and it, it gets everything through. So one thing I did is you can actually make it so that if I flip this over here, you can actually make it so that the editor itself does things that the game won't do at runtime. So in order to be able to visually show where individual nodes, individual points are, I've made it so that it just spawns a bunch of spheres in the center. And these points here, this, this center point here, will be where the, the enemies will actually follow. They will follow this path here by following the transform in the center of these here. So, at the very top over here, we have the entrance, which is that uh, like green one over there. And the very end of the red one, which is the exit. And then in the middle here, these black ones are all collisions. And the blue one is the path that is found. Now, if I flick back over to the other window over here, I have the collision set for the start the starting collisions. Now this is an active variable. So inside of the actual script, I can throw these at it at runtime, but because most of the levels don't need this or will have at least some collisions that need to, they need to have, I can just set them in here manually, level by level. And if I actually go down to the, let's say the first row and over here, so this here would be one, six and seven if i actually remove that one there you know just that there that there's now white if i do that again that one there's now white now if i go over to the zero one two third the three eight row that should get rid of this here and when i do that there you'll notice that it recalculates the path because every single time we change something in the editor it's going to recalculate that path to see if it's possible so watch now when i delete this uh this 3.8 this node right here it now finds the path is this way is far quicker than the path any other way and that is basically the entire thing it's rather nice i really like it that's one six and this one's one seven okay perfect it's really nice it um it is quite quick it doesn't lag anything you can set it up quite easily and the thing is is that with the actual grid itself if I mess about with it here, I can add more nodes if I want to add more nodes. As, as many as you want, and, and then this here is the distance between them, because I've set that so it just lines up with this visual representation over here. And I could even move, say, the exit, so I could move this exit. I think it'd be the call. Nope, it won't be the call, it'll be the row. Okay, so it'll be the row. Let's move the row down to like eight or something. You know, just now the, it's down here, and instead of going this way across to it, it goes, it comes down a bit more, and over here. It's as simple as that. In fact, if I actually mess around with this a bit more, and I make it go maybe five, seven, five, eight. Yes, five, eight. In theory, it can get there. These here weren't collisions before, so now it's found the way by going through here, through here, down here, down here, around this little thing, open up to here. Isn't that amazing? And this system, by the way, it's only working on um, up, down, left, right. There's no diagonal in, in this system. Uh, I could add diagonal, but the movement we're going to be having is going to be very grid-based to make it a bit easier on the player to figure that stuff out. So yeah, very basic uh, A-star pathfinding. When you actually play the game, it gets rid of these. I'm not sure how the wind's going to work now. It actually should get rid of Oh, I've turned that off. <laughs> My bad. I actually turned off the idea of it getting rid of them. So I've just enabled that piece of code there. So these spheres here that are a child of the grid should now remove themselves. Like so. There we go. Yeah, I added them back in so I could actually test it in runtime and it worked perfectly fine in runtime as well. And that's basically my A-star pathfinding script. I will have more reflection in the github for this when i eventually release that 
my end goal with this actually is to maybe even release this for free or something on the asset store i'll have to look into how that works but i think uh, this script is good it's not amazing but i think a lot of people could learn from this kind of simple to implement script so i will catch you next time you can find my portfolio on with the link on the screen or down in the description and i will f see you whenever goodbye <laughs>